Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and welcome to another Lupon Ranger vs. Power Ranger review. And take a look at the Deluxe Siren Striker from Lupon Ranger vs. Power Ranger. This is the seventh and final um, trigger machine for the Power Rangers. Um, and it can also be combined with Pack Kaiser. So let's take a look. Now, I say in my Victory Striker review that in the TV series, um, the Siren Striker was actually inside the Victory Striker. Um... Which basically means this thing also pretty much got stolen, just like, well, I should say, just like the Trigger Machine Splash, this also owned, the Lupin Rangers actually now own this um, Trigger Machine. So, yeah, because of the way how the writers are just, went out of whack with the TV series, but, you know, giving, you know, Lupin Rangers more favoritism toward than the Pat Rangers, so yeah. But anyway, so here's the Siren Striker. You can see it is a tank, of course. Present number seven up there, we got the nice gold, um... Nice gold wheels for the tank wheels. And of course, we got some red tank treads. Um, and of course, we got the siren up here. And of course, when you pull the trigger, this extends. And from here, you're going to pull up the cannon and flip down these what look, look like forklifts. And this is the attack mode. So, yeah. You basically this acts like a forklift to lift up enemies. So, yeah. Um, you know what's cool about this is the way how the cannon gets into this position is that if you pull you can see there's a track in there so when you push it in it it lines up it lines up itself which is actually very nice little engineering so and of course there is the pin set here and speaking of which let's bring in the vs changer all right now i'm gonna try it with the vs changer and on the box of the science striker they they intend you to put this in and then flip it up like this. However, I am not going to do that. So I'm going to flip it down like a normal trigger machine would. So let me turn this on. And also I got to point out, uh, this gives um, a power up. This becomes like a power up for um, the Pat Rangers and for um, Lupin X. Ugh. But let's try the sounds out. Uh, she got great patch rise. And we got the transformation for, um, Super Patron Ichigo or any of the Pat Rangers, but in this case, on the box, it's Super Lupin X. You know, yeah, um, yeah, I like the way how the show was written. Oh man, but anyway, but of course, you pull the trigger, you get a, a tank cannon blast noise, and now we're gonna do summon it. And I, about, I do like the standby noise for the um. Which you'll hear it again. And what it said was, you, I think it's Yumo or Yuto, or I think it's either Yumo or Yuto Kakan, or Bravely Bold, or Brave and Bold. So, there you go. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and do the combination that involved the Siren Strike, which we'll start with the Lupin, the Lupin Ranger side. Um, basically, you have, if you have um, Victory Striker ready, just remove the Victory Striker, leave Trigger Machine Splash and, and Magic Dial Fighter on. But let's prep the Siren Striker. So, pull the trigger, pull this down. We'll actually pull the can up all the way, make sure it's straight. Fold the forklifts down, pull out the tank treads, and we're gonna plug this up top like that. And then you have Siren Lupon Kaiser. So, yeah. And again, again, even though a lot of people don't like this because, you know, it's basically it's two trigger machines that they stole, you know, being used by thieves. But 
if you want to do a full on Pat Kaiser formation, which, well, before we do that, let's get to the head design. The head design, I'll say, looks pretty good. We got the Pat Ranger, sim, Pat Ranger S emblem up top. We got the siren head, siren lights, and nice silver paint on that, and nice green eyes. And of course, we got over, overhead cannons up top. So, pretty neat, I'll say. All right. Now, like I said before, if you want, if you want to do a full on Pat Kaiser, Pat Ranger theme, so I'm going to fold these up. And we're going to do an official combination that, that and yes, the Pat Rangers did use this Iron Striker later later on in the series, at least. So, so we're going to use a String Machine Biker, extend that, and take Trigger Machine Crane, extend the crane arm, up like this. And there you have Siren Pat Kaiser. So, yep, Siren Pat Kaiser, of course, uh, so there you go. Um... So you can do that, at least. Or my, at least, now like with Victory Loop on Kaiser, I did my version of Siren Pack Kaiser. It's basically just add the Trigger Machine Splash. Give him like two big bulky arms. So yeah, this is my version of Siren Pack Kaiser. So, yeah. Now, alternatively, there's actually another combination that's canon. Go back to Loop on, Loop on Kaiser again. Um, you could do... Siren loop, siren loop on Kaiser strong, if you want to. But like I said, well, you have to make sure you close the um, the hand in. And yeah, I think it's all the possible coming, all the canon commissions I could find. Let me know in the comments if there's actually something I'm missing. So yeah. So overall, just like with any other versus vehicle, including the one I recently reviewed, which is, which is the Victory Striker, the Siren Striker is just as good as the as all the other previous vehicles. I mean, it's a nice, it's a cool power up, you know, with the with the Power Rangers. I mean, even though supposedly, but like I said before, Lupin X used the Siren Striker first. Um, so yeah, yes, I know. I know a lot of people who watched, who've seen the TV series, didn't like how it was written. Like, like I said before, giving a lot of theoreticism towards the Lupin Rangers and the Pat Rangers, which a lot of people didn't like. However, on the other side of the coin, the toy line. You can create any combination you can think of. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a mix of, you know, dial fighters onto good strike or a mix of trigger machines, you know, like a like like I shown before, um Siren pa Siren Loop on Kaiser, which is basically two trigger machines and one dial fighter. Um so yeah, that's what the tournament's all about, you know, freedom. That's and the and the standby noise I did mention before, it's just as it's just as cool as the Victory Striker one, I will say. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about this. Um, I just bring in all the BS vehicles I own. So there we go. Here's all the BS vehicles, um, excluding Lupin Magnum and the Jackpot Striker, um, which I'll explain this to you later. Um, so there we go. I bloody did it. Got all the BS, got all the dial fighters, all the trigger machines, and all of the X trains right on the on the far left and far right. And yes, including the exclusive, um, limited, exclusive, the, ham the Hammer Dial Fighter. You know, I really wish, I really wish the Trigger Machines would have gotten an extra, you know, dial, extra Trigger Machine. That was a, um, a magazine exclusive, whatever. And it could have been maybe like, like a retool slash repaint of the Trigger Machine drill. I mean, that's a missed opportunity in my opinion, but oh well. Um, so yeah. So what are my thoughts on this whole line? It's awesome. I mean, if you want to go up the TV series, you can, but even though people were so irritated on, you know, on you know, all the, the writers at Toei for giving, you know, a lot of favoritism towards the Pat towards the Lupin Rangers than the Pat Rangers, and basically resulting in giving the Lupin Rangers more mecha than the than the than the opposing team. Because really they're missing the core principle of the show, which was basically treat two um center teams equally. You know, give them an equal amount of mecha. But no, that didn't happen. But with the toy line here, you could do anything you you could make any combination you want. No matter if it's either Lupin Ranger or Power Ranger themed. Doesn't really matter. The same goes for the um the X trains as well, X Emperor, you know, and stuff like that. So yes. Now the people are gonna be wondering, I'm gonna get either I'm gonna get the am I gonna get the Lupin Magnum or the Jackpot Striker? Um 
I'm going to classify those two bits of mecha as optional pieces. It, yes, even though the Lupin, the Lupin Magnum was important plot-wise, but to, in my opinion, it's not only really necessary for this mecha line, because even if you want to get, you know, another mecha that, that could do arm swapping, which, yes, the Lupin Magnum does have um, arm joints. They can put, you know, other VS vehicles on, become, like, new arms. Um, So, yeah, I mean, even though the Lupin Magnum looks cool, but I might not get it. The same goes for the Jackpot Striker, which, which for starters, it's a movie-exclusive mech. And second, that that Jackpot Striker has been scalped a lot. Um, and it's become so rare. Like, I managed to find one on Mondoraki for, like, 5,000 yen, which I didn't buy, which I didn't buy it. So, you know, it's, even it's a bit much for a mecha, but even though, despite the Jackpot Striker not having electronics in it. And other than that, it's being a a retool slash repaint of the Good Striker. So, like I said before, the Lupin Magnum and the Jackpot Striker are two optional pieces in my opinion. I mean, if you like those two, then go ahead. I mean, that's fine. But other than that, thank you all for supporting me throughout the Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger reviews. Um, or even watching my playlist. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell, hit the bell icon next to it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after this. Um, I'm not sure what my, what my next review is going to do. What I'm going to do after this one, but I don't know. So, thank you for watching. So, if you're a loop on, to any of you loop on rangers out there, I do. And to people who are Pat Ranger fans, mission complete. So that's that being said. Thank you for watching and have a good day.